our first proclamation, the Word of God, is in Acts chapter 20. Beginning at verse 17 through verse 27. The reading. From Miletus he sent Ephesus and called for the elders of the church. And when they had come to him, he said to them, You know from the first day that I came to Asia, in what manner I always live among you, serving the Lord with all humility, with many tears and trials which happened to me by the plotting of the Jews. How I keep back nothing that was helpful, but proclaim it to you and thought you publicly and from house to house, testifying to Jews and also to Greeks, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. And see, now I go bound in the Spirit to Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that chains and tribulations await me. But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. And indeed, now I know that you all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God will see my face no more. Therefore, I testify to you this day that I am innocent of the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare to you the whole counsel of God, the word of the Lord. Please stand for our responsorial psalm. And our response, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth, together, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You, O God, sent a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance. When it was weary, your congregation dwelled in it. You, O God, provided from your goodness for the poor. Response, sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. Our God is the God of salvation. And to God, the Lord belong escapes from death. Response. King. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. We are reading from chapter 17, beginning at verse 1 to verse 11. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the word which you have given me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came forth from you, 
and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. And all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to you, Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Good morning. How are you today? Bless kita no makaron nga agahon pa nakabati ang kita pulong kita tanid no. Makaron nya ni hay rato nya gospel. Rewind malang raya nga ra nga gospel. Kun ako nya ni kay nang ako nya ni kay nang amban istorya namo ni Dikon. Bisa ni diun mako na ko mag mag reflection. Kung nadumduman yung mako nit mga tao ro homily ni ni Father John. Ay di ko na ako magreflection. Pero may gusto nga pa abot katon ro aton nga Ginoo. Kada ngani do aton nga lesson, aton ma-learn di sa gospel. Ay i-focus naton sa verse 2 and 3. That eternal life comes from the relationship with eternal God. Di karagin hambay ni, ni Jesus nga daya man na eternal life ay kung sino man na nakakilaga at matuod nga Diyos. Nga ni rin man na makabaton ni eternal life. Abo nga mga tao mga tao ang hambay nga andang nabaton eternal life. But ano ano gadabaga nga Aton mabaton ang mahambay nga we have eternal life. To have eternal life, English la, is to know God. To know God. The true and the only God and Jesus Christ. Bukun niya mga kilaga natin do Diyos sa atong sa atong intellect o atong knowledge sa atong head knowledge o ginatawag sa English or memoryado gina naton tanan do verse iya sa Bible it means nga to have eternal life is relationship with God intimacy or suod close intimacy nga relationship sa atong nga Ginoo But di kala naton makita. Kutanon naton. Atong sarili. Who is God to me? And who is Jesus to me? Ano ra identity? Ano ra tong pagkilaya kay Jesus? Abo nga naga hambay is my Lord, my Savior. Yes. Pati man kita karon, dahil sa iyo din natin. Kung namat, kilaga natin, ah, kung naraya nga kan, kilaga natin si Jesus. May una nga times nga, sa mga tao, may akong na sumagi ang mga tao, na kilaga nga mga nanda si Jesus, kung nuna sa nanda sa problema, kilaga, tawag ka na kay Jesus, ay si Lord man akong Savior. Dahil una yung mao, madali lang ang mamamatay. Amay na yung Padre John, kamatayon yung manmana. But that is true. Si Lord Manara akong nga provider. Dahil una yung mao sa kalisdanan, kakuyangan at pinansyal. Si Lord Manara akong nga, si Jesus man akong healer. Kaya nga masakit mo eh. Pero, di ka natin makita. In times of circumstances, in times of manami nga 
kabuhi, dapat kilaga natin si Jesus. Kung sino yung mausa ito niya kabuhi. Diba ka? Sinahanga natin nga through relationship suod nga kung doon niya niya ginahambay sa ibang mga tao nga sayod ko taman na kung ano man na anong hininga man na kroy niya ron ay amigo gidaman na kami ka ron suod gidaman na kami ka ron nga ni makaroyin man kay Jesus if we honor Jesus we honor God if we thank Jesus we thank God. Kasi amatan man natong doa ma. If we glorify Jesus, we glorify ratong ama. Kung ano ratong pagkilaya kay Jesus, ima man kakilaga natong doa ma. Dahil ako, agrong ama sa bilog. To know God, is to think what he think. Ano ra nang ginapinuino? Ano sa nang pinuino? Diin man da kung sayod na ton dong Dios. Ano ra ato anang atong napi, anang napil, ano anang ginabatyag, diin man da tong ginabatyag. To know kung sayod na ton kun ano imaw. Amen. Ta kun ano ra nang ginahimo, imo man da tong paghimoon. Those who know God become like Him and have His kind of life which is eternal life. Do yun. Daya roan ang ginhambay nga. Sin o kung nakakilaya ka akong heraya ro akong natawan makabaton it eternal life. Daya ro akong ikadugang sa ibadar nga humili ko Domingo. Sa bilog panganin na akong nga, daya na aton makaroon nga, i-reflex e aton nga kabuhi. Nga, we have a mission. Mission to seek Him through every means and to remain as God seeker until the day when He revealed Himself to us face to face. Amen. Please stand.